Good morning, everybody. So I thought I'd show you this. Just ignore all the fruit flies. They're seriously going crazy right now. But I'm being asked how I store all of my dehydrated stuff because I, I'm not really showing it at the end of the video. Sorry. Um, <laughs> but I just store it in glass jars. Um, these are old honey jars that a neighbor actually kept for me. That's this one is. This is an old tahini bottle. You can't vacuum, well, maybe you could, I don't know. I've never tried vacuum and sealing these, but I don't have a wide mouth one. Um, this one I have vacuum sealed, it's raspberries. I think I'm actually going to powder these because they're not being eaten. Um, again, these ones I did quite some years ago. These are blueberries. I didn't vacuum seal it, as you can see, and they are still fine and quite hard, too. So they're not, you, know, you don't have to vacuum seal them. It is nicer, but they still last just as long if you don't. So you can see uh, what we got here. This is some cabbage that I dehydrated last season. Uh, I'm just trying to... Yeah, so, and you can see, this is just, it has a plastic lid on it, and it's still fine. But this here is how I store the vegetables. Um, I store the, my greens that way as well. They're just, they're not vacuum sealed. But I go through and use everything I have too quite frequently and quite often. So that's why I don't really worry too much about vacuum sealing them or keeping an oxygen absorber in there, I don't bother. Or mylar bags, again, I don't bother because here I'll show you guys this. Okay, so here's something else I do while I'm waiting to process everything. This is all of the basil that I got off of that plant. This is the two gallon freezer bag. Um, as you can see, I just have it in here. There's no oxygen absorber. It will stay fine until I am done with everything and I'm ready to process this. Because this, <laughs> this is what I do, guys. I just throw it into bags or in containers until I'm ready to deal with it. But this is again another way how I can how you can store it is just in a nice big bag. Um, but yes, here, hold on a second. Okay. Now if it will focus, I don't know if it will, just ignore that. <laughs> um, here is how I store everything else. Like these are all the herbs that I have processed already. They're just in there. This is the sage. I haven't actually, this is last year's. I haven't done this year's yet because there's this year's right there. Um, but I just keep everything in mason jars in my cupboard. I find that is the best way to store them because they're in a cool... Well, they're not, it's not cool, but you know, it's a dark place and no light's getting to them. So yes, I hope, here, hold on a second. Okay, so I hope that that answered some of the questions as to how I store it, just in jars, <laughs> nothing fancy. I have a vacuum sealer. I just can't be bothered to bring it out every single time I use it. And because I, like I said, I use my stuff daily. So I don't really worry about it terribly much. So yes, there you go. That's how I store all my dehydrated items. It's just in mason jars. And as you can see, I also store them just hanging. This is from last year, the, um, what are these? The cayenne peppers. Still haven't dealt with them. They're pretty to look at, but yes. So there you guys go. That is how I store everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. And hopefully it answered your questions and I will talk to you again soon. <laughs> Bye.